Aloha everyone and welcome to the first episode of Lillian's Vegan World, where I delve into the fascinating world of veganism. I'm sure there are lots of you out there who are going, what the hell is going on with all this vegan talk? It's everywhere, isn't it? Um, you can rarely pick up a newspaper and not see a, another article about you know, some you know, huge uh, fast food restaurant that's starting to sell vegan burgers. So this is definitely a, a very, very hot topic. And I'm going to try and clear up some, some of those myths and misconceptions about the, the uh, plant-based diet and hope that you can learn something um, about why this is now the fastest growing diet on the planet. <laughs> so isn't that incredible? Um, the Vegetarian Times recently published an article showing that 3.2% 3, 3 of Americans are now um, turning to vegetarianism, and that's about 7.3 million people in the US, and approximately 0.5% are vegan now. That's about 1 million people in the states that are turning to veganism. So um, you've probably got so many questions about this, and uh, I hope that I can clear some of this stuff up, stuff up for you. So. I'm going to go right into it and talk to you about the, the most popular question, which is, what is the difference between a vegetarian and a vegan? Now, this is, this is not very clear cut. There are many types of vegetarians, as there are many types of vegans. So let's start with the vegetarians. Basically, vegetarians don't eat any meat, do not consume meat. But within the vegetarian world, there are, for example, ovo vegetarians, ovo coming from the word meaning egg. So an ovo vegetarian won't eat red meat or fish or dairy products, but they, they may consume eggs. Then there are lacto ovo or ovo lacto veg vegetarians. I've seen it written both ways. And lacto comes from the word or means milk. So these are vegetarians who do consume dairy, milk, cream, butter, um, stuff like that, yogurt um, from the cow. And then there are pescatarians. Pescatarians are different again. So they won't eat any meat, any red meat, but they will eat fish. And they may eat a combination of other things. They may, they may eat fish and eggs or dairy. So there's all these sort of different um, different vegetarians within that one world. And then there are also uh, vegetarians who won't eat red meat, but will eat uh, poultry, chicken, or uh, fowl. Will eat, yes, white meat. So uh, there's, a, there's a few things going, in, going on there in the vegetarian world. Now, the biggest difference between a vegetarian and a vegan is that vegans do not consume do not eat any products made from animals or animal byproducts. So a vegan does not eat any meat, no meat, no fish, no seaweed, uh, sorry, no seafood, uh, definitely no cheese, no dairy, no eggs, nothing from the animal at all. And the stricted, stricted vegans even go as far as uh, not wearing anything that is made from the animal byproducts such as leather, silk, fur, even wool, and um, do not consume like byproducts such as honey. I also myself um, don't, don't eat honey. Just uh, I think it's one of those things when you, the more you learn about how vegans think and you know, what, what veganism means to people, you start to understand that it's not only about compassion for animals. Insects also fall under that category. And um, it's about, yeah, just compassion for animals and uh, vegans not, you know, not liking uh, exploitation of animals or any other living creature. So these, I think, these is still a very um, hot debate among, um, even amongst vegans themselves because there are some that do consume honey and some that don't. So. You know, when you start, um, if you've ever read into things like honey and the bees, I think it's quite interesting um, to, get, to get even just one twelfth of a teaspoon of honey. The average bee will spend its whole lifetime to get one twelfth of a teaspoon. 
um, harvested. So these bees are hard workers. And the Oscar goes to, for the hardest working insect, da -da 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 -da, the bee. <laughs> you know, there are funny things. I think vegans also don't like the fact that um, bee farmers are, uh, do sometimes mistreat the bees. You know, the, the queen bee's wings are sometimes clipped so she can't escape the hive. And, you know, the, the, they sometimes smoke out the bees to collect the honey. And there's all sorts of stuff. So. That's, uh, that's why a lot of vegans don't even consume honey. That's uh, something that a lot of people, a lot of friends ask me, like, no honey, what? So it's very interesting. That's, uh, that's something that's food for thought. Um, so that's basically the, yes, the main difference between vegetarians and vegans. So the next question, why? Why does one become vegan? This again is really um, an, in, an individual journey, like how you get to the point where you decide to exclude all animal products from your, life, from your diet and your lifestyle. It's, it's a personal journey. I myself have been vegan for about 10 years. Prior to that, I was vegetarian all through my childhood. So for me, I didn't like wake up one day and have an epiphany and think, that's it. I'm giving up the cheese, which for me was the last thing to um, exclude from my diet before I became fully vegan. So for me, it was more of a natural process. I just kind of, as time went on through my years of being a vegetarian, I started uh, teaching myself how to cook. This turned into an actual a career for me. I am a vegan chef. I teach vegan cooking classes and I'm a vegan lifestyle coach. So I hope through my a journey and my experience in the, the vegan world, I hope I can you know, help you understand more about you know, why some of us do become vegan. And there are, I guess, if you, if you had to break it down and um, try and explain it, there, there are three main reasons why one would choose veganism. And that is obviously the first one being health, for health reasons. Um, you know, studies are suggesting now I'm going to use the word suggest because you know I'm going to use my words wisely. So a lot of um, you know research done over the years and decades um, by you know not not only physicians and doctors and surgeons like there are lots of studies out there that you can uh, definitely go and have a look into on the internet and find out for yourself. But the majority of studies are showing or suggesting that. Plant-based diet is the healthiest diet on the planet. Hmm. So, um, and there are, you know, there are, uh, there are also, there is also compelling evidence that that shows vegans to be less prone to some diseases, like less cancer amongst vegans, less um, diabetes, even reversing diabetes. Some. You know, some doctors and physicians are coming out with all of these studies and, you know, experiments and showing that a plant-based diet can actually reverse some illnesses. So, yes, that definitely health is one of the reasons why, we, why you would think about becoming, you know, a vegan. Then there's obviously the uh, environmental factor. What sort of impact, what sort of footprint you're leaving on the environment? Again, you know, uh, the vegan lifestyle is said to be to have the less damage on the environment. Um, again, this is a, I think this is a discussion that deserves its own whole 30-minute show because there's a lot to cover when you, um, you know, talk about the environment and what kind of impact eating uh, animals or consuming animals for, hum or for human consumption, what kind of impact it, it does actually leave on the planet. So that would be the second main thing. And then, of course, um, the, the third main reason why people choose to go vegan would be for ethical reasons, and that would be about um, the way uh, animals are treated or, you know, animal welfare, how they're, yeah, how they're treated and uh, bred for human consumption. So that's, those three are probably the main reasons. I myself personally, um, it wasn't, it, it wasn't, Either of those three, and it, it could have been a combination of three. But for me, just growing up, you know, choosing from a child to be to be vegetarian, not interested in eating meat or fish or seafood, 
happy to, you know, eat dairy. I loved dairy. I, I ate cheese all the time. I used to eat cakes that, you know, were made with eggs and butter and cream and, you know, I ate yogurt. So all of that, um, all of that I obviously don't eat anymore. But then again, again, I do because there are so many vegan options out there. I don't miss uh, stuff like that anymore because it does exist in a, just a different form, in a vegan form. So I think we're very lucky, uh, lucky that we are in you know, the, the modern times that we are where you can substitute um, things that you used to love, comfort food, like you know, who, who doesn't love a bowl of, a nice warm bowl of chicken noodle soup or something like that? We got you covered because you can vegan everything. That big bowl of ice cream and jello, no problem. There is vegan ice cream probably in every supermarket you visit. So um, next time you're at a supermarket, do wander around and take a look at, you know, what's going on and what all the fuss is about all these, you know, vegan products out there. And definitely, uh, as we, you know, as you know, each each week goes by, and I sort of tell you more about veganism and. The vegan world. I, I hope that you are you become a little bit adventurous and do actually uh, go out and try some of these things. You might surprise yourself. These vegan options are very very tasty. And one thing I know um, the United States does does very well is uh, you know come out with really tasty food. Definitely, and I'm going to show you um, more. I'm going to talk to you more about some vegan options that I've. Uh, yeah, prepared for you for, for today's show. So that's why, you know, some people go vegan. Now, the next question would be, what do vegans eat? I'm just going to totally, you know, crush all those stereotypes that you've ever had <laughs> because uh, we do not live on salads or alfalfa sprouts or you know, we don't only buy organic. Uh, sure, if you can afford organic and if, if organic, you know, fresh organic produce is uh, available to you, that is fantastic. You obviously are very lucky if, uh, if you can, you know, if you do have that uh, option to be able to eat beautiful organic food. Unfortunately, it's not, it's not the case in a lot, of, a lot of areas, a lot of countries. So, you know, don't beat yourself up. I don't... I don't eat organic all the time. When I can, I do. And when I can't, I, I don't. I just buy, you know, produce from, yeah, regular supermarkets and stuff. But I do live near Chinatown, so I'm lucky there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of fresh, fresh produce there that I do uh, enjoy. So, so here we go. What, what do vegans eat? So I just told you what we don't. We don't just live on, you know, lettuce and stuff, you know, celery and carrot sticks. I, I certainly don't anyway. But uh, yeah, a healthy diet consists of obviously lots of fresh vegetables, plenty of green leafy vegetables, um, full of iron and fiber and, and every nutrient you can think of. The, veg the vegan diet is uh, definitely a healthy, you can get all your, your daily nutrients just within that. So lots of fresh vegetables, fruits, nuts, legumes, seeds. Um, and uh, whole grains, yeah. So there's, we're not missing out on anything, us vegans. And I'm going to show you after the break um, what you can do at a nice uh, vegan barbecue, which is going to be a bit of an eye opener, I'm sure. So looking forward to that. And we do also eat vegan junk food every now and again, because that's also the the vegan junk food here in Hawaii is exceptionally delicious. <laughs> I've been known to. Um, partake in some of that and I don't feel guilty about it at all because I like to enjoy a, a, a variety of vegan foods and I think that's that's what makes it fun. Um, I'm not restricting myself, I'm not putting pressure on myself and I don't feel stressed. So lots, lots more things to talk about about the vegan diet and what we eat and what we don't eat and I will let you know that we do eat a lot of um, high protein foods as well. Lots of lentils, chickpeas, um, tofu peas, peanut butter, soy milks, oat milks, almonds, spinach, rice, lots of good stuff. So we do get our daily um, recommended intake of protein without a doubt, as do most Americans. So 
no problem with the protein. <laughs> and that's another interesting question because people ask me where I get my protein from and the answer is the same place that your protein gets your protein from. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> Stay tuned guys, uh, we're going to have a quick break and uh, see you after the break. Aloha, I'm Gwen Harris, the host here at Think Tech Hawaii, a digital media company serving the people of Hawaii. We provide a video platform for citizen journalists to raise public awareness in Hawaii. We are a Hawaii nonprofit that depends on the generosity of the supporters to keep on going. We'd be grateful if you go to thinktechhawaii.com and make a donation to support us now. Thanks so much. Aloha, I'm Jane Sugimura, host here at Think Tech Hawaii, a digital media company serving the people of Hawaii. We provide a video platform for citizen journalists to raise public awareness in Hawaii. We are a Hawaii nonprofit that depends on the generosity of its supporters to keep on going. We'd be grateful if you go to thinktechhawaii.com and make a donation to support us now. Thank you so much. Welcome back everyone uh, to Lillian's Vegan World where we del delve into the fascinating world of veganism. So next thing I want to talk to you about is what do you serve at a, at a party? There, I had a, a birthday party for someone very special a couple of days ago and I made, I had actually a vegan barbecue. So I'm going to get Rob to pull up the first slide for me. and. Uh, this is something that I tried for the, for the very first time. This is, I think you've all heard of this by now because these Beyond Meats are selling like crazy. This is the Beyond Meat, uh, the Beyond Burger, which is a plant-based burger patty. As you can see, it has 20 grams of plant protein per serving. Um, now, I think by now a lot of people know how much protein they are recommended to take each day and it's about 0 0.9 grams per kilogram of body weight. So a 154 pound human, 70 kilogram person needs approximately 63 grams each day. So one of these plant-based burger patties is already one third of your recommended daily intake for protein. Whoever made these or whoever invented these Beyond Meats are honestly geniuses. They are soy free, gluten free, zero cholesterol, non GMO verified, and uh, kosher, kosher certified. So they have really covered like every single thing you can think of. And I, I guarantee any person on the planet, regardless of what kind of allergies or, you know, they have going on. I think it, this is a product that honestly can just, um, it, and it is actually selling like crazy. Uh, the the Beyond Meat is uh, is is privately a company based in Los Angeles, and uh, now the company is worth over five hundred and fifty million dollars. So that's uh, that's how successful this company is, and the burgers are selling out like crazy. I've been in Hawaii for only three months having moved from Japan where I spent the last 30 years of my life. Anyway, I have been so looking forward to you know, trying these burgers and, and cooking them for my friends here. And I only got hold of them at Whole Foods, which sells them. So that pack that you saw, which has two of the patties, it, it sells for about um, $7, a little bit over $7. So. Yeah, this is an excellent product if you're looking to uh, try something different or, you know, go easy on the, on the meat products. This is, a, this is a great one. And I, I didn't mention that it's only 270 calories per uh, patty. So that's, that's a good thing. All right. Then there's the, the same company, Beyond Meat, also. Um, also produces Beyond Sausages. So there we go made from the same company. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't mention that the, the base of these, uh, both products, the Beyond Burger and the Beyond Sausage, 
are made from pea protein. Now, the, the uh, burger actually has beet juice ex extract, which adds to the color, and that gives it that you know, bloody effect, that bleeding effect that, look, that looks really like the real, the real stuff. Now, the, the sausages don't have the beet juice extract, but they are also made primarily from the pea protein. Um, they have some refined coconut oil, sunflower oil, rice protein, fava bean protein, and uh, potato starch. These sausages have uh, about 190 calories in each of them and 16 grams of protein per serving. So a couple of sausages, you've got 30 grams there. That's about half of your daily protein right there in two of those sausages. These, are, these products are amazing, really. I, I can understand why they're selling out, and rightfully so. So definitely uh, take a look at the supermarkets if you're here in the Honolulu area or anywhere else in the world for that matter. And if you do come across them, definitely give them a try. They look like the real stuff. And my friends didn't know that they were vegan. But I'm guessing they kind of suspected because they know me and they know I'm a vegan and a vegan chef. And so they know that I don't like handling uh, non-vegan food. So they may have suspected. But, you know, if you do give these a try, you know, let your friends and family try them and don't tell them they're vegan and see how you go. So that's something that you, sh you should definitely try. All right, to the next slide. This is what a vegan barbecue looks like. Now, if someone were to show you this photo, you really would have no idea that they, these are vegan, would you? It's incredible. As you can see, the color of the burgers, it, it, looks, it, it looks eerily like the real stuff, and they bleed. You know, I wish I had a video showing you, um, showing you some footage of when I was cooking them. But these, these vegan patties take only three minutes to cook per, on each side. Uh, the company recommends, the manufacturer recommends that you keep them raw, a little bit, you know, raw, medium raw, so that they do bleed on the inside. I think that that gives it the, you know, gives it more of the feeling that you're eating a burger and gives you more of that satisfaction value. So the sausages took a little bit longer, I'd say, and you can season them, dress them as you like. Uh, definitely brush on a bit of sauce while you're bar barbecuing and fantastic. Again, like there's so much protein in these, you add a nice, you know, whole wheat bun to put them in. Uh, whole wheat buns have about seven, between seven and ten grams of protein in them each. A little bit of hummus. Again, you're adding protein, so you could get your daily, you know, protein intake very easily. And all this hype about where do you get your protein from? This is another thing I'm going to really dedicate a whole show to: is um, the protein, the protein. Uh, debate or chat, because in America, in the United States alone, they're, they're saying that people actually get about double the amount of protein that they need, because there's just so much talk about protein. And uh, yeah, so you might be getting too much protein, and my question to you might be, um, where do you get your fiber from? Now, this is something that a lot of people are not getting enough of. So. Maybe I can help you with that later on in you know, episodes as we continue on this journey of discovery about you know, <laughs> the plant-based diet and lifestyle. So I'm going to go on to the next slide, and that is now the vegan cheese. Isn't that amazing? That's vegan cheese, and this is actually by a company. The, the cheese is called Chao, C-H-A-O, and I use the tomato uh, tomato flavored with spicy peppers. It says it's a product of Greece, but um, on the back of the package, it actually says it's made in Seattle. So that's a good thing, you know, support uh, American made products anytime you can. Uh, yeah, so th this cheese tastes also exactly like the real stuff. And when you add that to the burgers, honestly, uh, even, you know, even the average omnivore can enjoy something like this and be satisfied. I actually brought this cheese to show you, these cheese uh, slices. I'm going to give the team here at uh, Think Tech Hawaii this to have a try because I think it's, you know, vegan cheese. A lot of people haven't tried it. This uh, is one of the cheeses that is available here in Hawaii, in Honolulu, but there's a whole range of uh, vegan cheeses actually out there that are awesome, delicious. Um, they melt. You, you have your 
pizza cheeses that are shredded for you that you can throw on, you know, your vegan pizzas when you're cooking at home. But the, this cheese is great. I have an array of flavors that I always uh, keep in my fridge so I don't uh, go cold turkey on the, on the cheese thing because everybody, a lot of people say, no way, I could never give up cheese, not going to give up cheese. And the thing is, you don't have to give up cheese on a vegan diet. You can also make your own cheese, which is something I'm going to help you with later on too. <laughs> so on to another slide, uh, the potato pies. I always make, this, uh, make these when I have parties or guests over because they're just really great finger food. It, this is the, the, the crust of these pies is actually something that we call accidentally vegan. You're not going to believe this, but the, the pie crust is actually uh, crescent rolls. You know, those funky looking crescent rolls that pop open and, you know, this blob of um, dough comes, you know, seeping out. That's what they are. So they, I pre-cook them in the oven for a few minutes, five minutes at 350 degrees. Then I, um, I top the, the beautiful little pie crusts with whatever I have left over in my fridge. In this case, it was a potato salad. And I added some cheese sauce that I had made from cashews. So that, that went on top of that. And it was beautiful. Great party food. And now we have the last slide, which is the dessert. There you go, lemon cake, <laughs> lemon vegan cake, lots of cream, lots of fruit, all vegan, no eggs, no butter, um, absolutely delicious. So you don't have to give up desserts on the plant-based diet either. So there you go. I hope, you, I hope I've um, sort of um, cleared up a few things for you and maybe you're starting to understand more about what veganism is and what vegan, vegans can eat, do eat or don't. Um, don't be afraid when you hear the word vegan. As you can see, we eat a, you know, an array of foods just like yourself and there are endless, you know, endless things, delicious things that you can, you can eat and you can stay healthy at the same time. So be, be mindful of what you put on your plate and try and add some more vegan to your table because vegan food is just as delicious and the amazing thing about vegan food is anyone can enjoy it. You don't have to be vegan to enjoy plant-based food. It's healthy. It's, it's usually low in calories, not all the time. Um, but, yeah, definitely you're also leaving less of a footprint on the environment, saving a few animals along the way, and lots of other good things going on once you go plant-based. But I'm definitely not here to preach to you or try to um, turn you to becoming vegan. Uh, quite the contrary, I'm just uh, here to ex try and you know, help you understand more what all this fuss is about and why so many millions of people all around the world are choosing to, um, yeah, to do this lifestyle. There's something, um, here's something you can do. You could try substituting one of your meals once a day or once a week even. Um, with something like the vegan cheese or definitely go out and try the vegan, the vegan meats, the Beyond Burger or the Beyond Sausage for something different. Um, you never know, you might just like it. A lot of people do. So thank you so much for watching. I, um, I'm so happy to share my thoughts and insight into this weird and wacky world where, you know, perhaps everything you were taught by your parents and that your parents were taught by um, their parents it perhaps is not all, you know, the truth. So let's let's see how let's see what else we can find out about this vegan thing. And I'll be with you all the way to um, to discover more things about veganism myself. Even on my own journey, I'm learning new things every day, and I'm always um, so excited to share all of my knowledge with you and all the beautiful things that you can cook and enjoy on a healthy plant-based diet. So do be mindful of what you eat and try adding some vegan to your table for your loved ones, for your health, for the, for the environment and for the animals. <laughs> Join me again. I, I'll be back again live Hawaii time, 10 a.m. every Friday to yap on again more about this, uh, this wonderful plant-based lifestyle. And I hope that you can join me. Looking forward to 
seeing you all again. If you have any questions or comments, do write them on a nice bottle of champagne. Send them to Think Tech Hawaii to Lillian, Lillian Kumik. <laughs> and I'll be sure to um, answer any of those questions that you have. Would love to hear from you. And uh, again, have a great weekend uh, wherever you may be. Um, be healthy, be happy, and be open minded to what I'm telling you about. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Aloha. <laughs>